Hello everyone, in this video I will demonstrate how you can create a text utility app and how you can add your custom features to it and how you can enable dark mode. So without wasting any time, let's get started. This was our, uh, this is the current look of our app from the previous blog we worked on. Uh, we just have a simple navbar, a text area and then a summary. So uh, in my blog, I have covered how you can add these functions and you can add a couple more functions according to your need and create your own custom text utility app. I'll quickly go over what I have done so far. And in my uh, text form.js, I have all these functions. These functions are where does the, where does the, uh, is the place where the functionality lies. So all you have to do is create a button and have a uh, and call that function in on click. So whenever the user hits that button, it calls that function. Let's say if I click clear text, it will call handle clear and handle clear will set the value of text to null. So this is how you can create your own uh, custom features and functions and can create your own app. Okay, so now I want to have some, I want to have my app to change themes. I want to have a switch right at the top which and when I click it will change all the color background color and the change the theme to dark mode basically so to do that uh, I'll go to uh, bootstrap and uh, find a uh, switch so I found this switch which is pretty nice and that's uh, doing the job right so I'll go and uh, copy it and paste it in my nav bar I'll paste it right very at the bottom and Couple of things here, I uh, need to make sure I have all the closing tags and I'm changing all the class to class name. So now I have that uh, switch ready. I'll just change the name text here. This is how it renders, it's just a basic switch. Whenever I click this, it should turn all, it should switch it to dark mode. And to do that, I want to have my, have the control of my application through app.js. So therefore I will add this functionality in my app.js file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a uh, use state hook to do this functionality. So I'll create a variable using use state and call it mode and the other variable I'll do is create a set mode and by default I, I'll keep the value as light I want to have light mode enabled by default and now in my navbar I have uh, over here as you guys can see it says light if I change this to dark And I'll save this. You guys can see the navbar color changes. This is what I wanted when I click this uh, switch. So I, I am going to use props here. What I'm going to do is I will send the value of mode through props to navbar. And in navbar, I will uh, place that value over here where I've written dark. So whenever I, I change the mode, this value also changes. So I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna send uh, mod as my prop. And in my nav bar. So I want to use JavaScript here. I want to write JavaScript. To do that, as I've mentioned in my previous blog as well, whenever I want to write JavaScript in JSX, I need to have curly braces. So I'm gonna add curly braces. And to pass a variable in that uh, in this uh, string, this is a string right now. So I, uh, if I want to pass a variable here, I need to replace this double quotation with backticks. So this is the purpose of backticks. It allows you to uh, insert any variable in here. So to accept the prop, I'm gonna do is uh, dollar sign curly braces props dot mode. I'm gonna do the same thing here as well. All right, so my navbar looks nice, so it's gonna take the value of mode. Now I need to 
send then need I need the switch to set the value set the value of mode to dark right so I'm gonna do is I need to create a very uh, I need to create a function on click and on click function will not be in the nav bar but it will be in the app js since the on uh, on click function will be working with modes so it has to check the mode right so I need to put that on click function in the app js but I will send that function in the uh, nav bar through props the same way we send the mod will send that function as well so I'm gonna create a function here uh, this one will be a arrow function and uh, I will name it as a toggle mode let's name this toggle mode Now, I'll, so in this, I'll, I'll see if my, my current mode is light, then set it to dark. If the else, otherwise set the mode as light mode. So I'm going to put some logic in here. Then set mode. I'll call that variable <clears throat> so I'm gonna send this function toggle mode as a prop to my nav bar And in my napper, I'm gonna accept that prop in the on click function. So I can just add it here, I guess, on click. And that will be props dot toggle. So I'm gonna go and see if it works. I need to save app.js as well. Yes, it works. But there's a problem right now. So when I change it, when I enable the dark mode, I cannot see the text because the color of the text is black right now. So I need to figure it out that whenever I turn it to dark mode, it turns into the color of the text turns to white. And when I switch it back to a light mode and the color should turn back to black as the default. To do that, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go to nav bar. And in my nav bar, I'm gonna uh, over here. So there's a function in uh, Bootstrap that you can change the color. If I use text dot text light, then it's gonna change the color of the text to white, which is not visible in light mode, but you can see it in dark mode. And to fix this issue, I need to have some logic here that whenever the mode is dark then you display the text in white color and whenever the mode is in uh, light white color you display the text in black color so there's going to be a logic here it's going to be something very similar to what we did here and so without wasting any time let's do that i need to put curly braces here and then i need to change this uh, parenthesis with backticks once I do that, I need to pass a prop here. Props dot mode. So I'm gonna check if my mode is if my mode is light, or uh, then change it to, then change the text to dark. My mode is light. Change the dark. Else, keep it. A light. If I save this, it should work. Yes, it works as we wanted. Nice. 
So we want to have this same thing in whole application, not just on navbar. So I'm gonna do is uh, I have to go to my text form, but before that I'll go to app.js. There's a function to set the color of the whole uh, application, like the body of the application, document dot body dot style dot background color. I'm gonna set it as gray when I uh, turn when I uh, set the mode to dark, I want the background color of the application is gray. It might look nice, I guess. We'll see that. And then I'll do something similar in else statement, but I'll switch the color to white. If I save this, it should show the changes in our application. Yes, that's what we wanted. We want the background color to change as we change this. And to work with this we need to work uh, we need to go to the text form in the text form uh, in the class container we will add a simple CSS style component so in this we'll uh, say background color if the uh, for the background color if props dot mode if the mm, current mode is dark, if we are in the dark mode, set the background to be black. Else, if not, if we are in the light mode, set the background to be white. And for the text color, we'll do something, we'll do opposite of what we did in background, of course. Uh, yep, so I'm gonna copy this code right here and change the colors. We have dark, then we reach white here, else we will get black. So, this is what we're gonna do. I'll save this and show how is it gonna look like. All right, so why is it not working? Because I am sending props in text form, but in my app.js, I'm not sending it in this. Uh, I need to do this thing. I'm missing. I'm not just sending props. Um, I need to do that and I'll save. This should work. This is what we wanted, but there's a problem that the text area is not changing its color. To do that, I'll quickly go and in the text form, I'll take the style component which we just added. I'm gonna add the same thing in our text area. I'm gonna save this. Yes, so this changes our uh, enables the dark mode, and when I go back, it changes to light mode, and then the text color also changes to black. This is how you can uh, change themes and you can add other custom colors if you want a uh, background to be blue or something. You can play around with this. And this is how you can create a custom text utility app, which is very easy to use. And you can create your own functions, add some functionality like this. And that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.